Hello and welcome. And I do indeed welcome you on this uh, fine cold day as uh, this video is uh, is dedicated to Darkorian 100. Uh, thanks man. It's basically an everyday carry video, okay? Or, or EDC. Some people love EDC videos. I like them. Um, and this is kind of just my everyday carry. Uh, the first part will be kind of what I take with me every day um, and then the second part will be some more options and um, what I'd take you know if I had larger room basically okay so there's no script okay this is all on the fly um, and don't worry about this uh, crease here I do apologize uh, I really probably shouldn't have said that because now you're just going to be looking at it all through the video never mind okay we'll move on right so first things first uh, knives okay so I like to carry I like to rotate knives like a lot of knife collectors and give them certain pocket time pocket time okay so uh, at my current rotation at the moment is a uh, is a Burka Trans 42 uh, I think the the UK legal versions of the Burka knives have the 42 at the end and um, I know that the Subcon 42 does I know that this does however the Burka XS doesn't but there we go and um, this one it's got this little flipper thing here but as you can see, that just isn't going to happen anytime soon. So it's probably best using the, the uh, dual thumb stud. It's a, it's a nice knife. It's not too heavy. Os8 steel. Um, quite sharp. As you can see, Burka obviously... Uh, wow, focus. Um, kind of put a detent in there. A very small one. And disengage this frame lock. Okay. So there we go. That's the, the Burka Trans 42. So I, I may carry that one. Perfectly legal. Or the uh, Spyderco uh, UK PK or UK pen knife, okay. Um, I think Spyderco have just brought out a, a flat grind. Hoping to purchase one of those soon and do a review. So so keep your eyes out on that one. Um, same steel, same FRN. I think it's black at the moment. But there we go. They're they're kind of my two uh, like UK legal knives that I might be carrying. Okay. Um, talk about watches. Uh, probably carry this one a fair bit. This is, uh, I think, a G-Shock uh, uh, GW3000, something like that. It's it's an Aviator ser series watch. Uh, it is a it's kind of a digital automatic. So um, the the whole gubbins inside it's it's quartz, but at the same time there's there's digital aspects such as this is solar powered, um, it's water resistant. It get, gets a, an automatic. Uh, time signal update from from a radio tower somewhere in the UK. I think it's Anthorn. Um, they're just you know they're just great watches. Uh, they're smart enough to be worn at work, and at the same time they're rugged enough to be worn in the gym or climbing or swimming, whatever. They're really tough, uh, durable watches. If I'm not wearing that one, I'll probably be wearing this uh, temperature one and uh, compass one. Which isn't working at the moment, but oh well, <laughs> never mind. That's a good uh, good point. But it is low power, and um, I need to need to recharge it somehow. But obviously, I do need the sun to help me in that. So there we go. So knives, watch, uh, phone. I carry an iPhone. This is an Oakley case. Uh, it's detachable because I like to put it in the charger overnight and things. Um, there we go. You know, you or everybody knows what an iPhone looks like. So there you go. All right, so that's that's the phone that'll, that'll be with me. Um, then I'll say wallet. Uh, I, I was bought this uh, by uh, by a friend. It's uh, genuine leather. I think it's Venga. Um, it's a decent decent wallet. Uh, I'm obviously not going to go into too many pockets and things, but you can put your your coins in there. And being in the UK, you will be used to carrying a fair few coins and then I've always got the the Swiss card light on me and um, which is a very useful tool many functions on that okay so so that's that all right so wallet yeah it, it's a bit loose doesn't hold your money in and it's quite thick but hey it's lasted me a few years and uh, I might change it to a, a max edition at one point but it it does its job at the moment okay so that's the wallet oops 
I also ca uh, carry around um, like a uh, another micro wallet that has uh, train tickets and, and such in. Okay, so uh, that's quite quite useful. All right, so probably have that that on me. Um, keys. Yeah, this is my my key ring. Yeah, it's not very ninja-ish, I suppose. It's quite big, um, but it's very useful. Okay, it's got everything I would ever need and want on it. And with this uh, Night Eyes uh, S Bina or S Bina, you you can quickly detach things. So say if I'm going to the gym, bang, that's all I need to take to the gym. Okay, it's it's that simple. Um, I mean, let's go through some of the things, shall we? So first off, the torch. This is a Phoenix LD01, probably regarded by most as one of the best AAA battery uh, torches in the world. Okay, um, it's highly powerful. You've got uh, on, and then you've got low, medium, and turbo or high. Okay, so you've got three functions: um, waterproof, shockproof, you name it. It's incredible torch. Doesn't weigh that much, and it's uh, only a tiny, tiny bit wider than a mini mag light you know one of those mini mag lights with the bulbs anyway move on this here is a, a burka plus um titanium i think can you see the titanium yeah there it is uh mini pry bar uh, i just use it as as uh, many different things really uh you you can cut uh boxes open with with this bit you can pry doors open if you so wish and um, you can use it as a bottle opener and this bit here is a, I think it's a carbide um, glass breaker. So yeah, you could pull yourself out of a <clears throat> building if, if you needed to with with this using any parts of it really. Okay, so that's that's on uh, on that side of it. The other side, uh, this this is kind of my my main. I've got my house keys and my whistle. Um, I'll probably change that at one point. And I've got this uh, Swiss this Victorinox. Um, forget the name. I think it's uh, like a silver tech, um, but it's uh, it's got a little LED, quite bright actually. And then it also has a retractable ballpoint pen, and it's got the scissors, the knife, and things like that. So very functional that. And it's not not too heavy. Uh, and then on this uh, key key ring, we've got obviously the Spyderco bug. Uh, we've got uh, another Swiss tool thing with plenty of functions. We've got a USB in the shape of a key, quite functional. Uh, we've got this, uh, I think it's American made, yeah, USA Uncle Bill Silver Gripper. Extremely good pair of tweezers. I can't stress this enough. I mean, these are, are incredible. And I don't think they're that expensive either. Okay, so that's that's those. Um, and then you've I've got, got my space pen, okay, uh, which is uh, obviously waterproof writes in space, uh, if ever I get booted off this planet, things like that. So that's that's excellent. Okay, that's that's what you need. You need a writing tool on you at all times, I suppose. Um, so yeah, quite chunky, quite, hev quite heavy in a way, uh, but all these things here are functional. And uh, yeah, so that's my keys. Okay, um, now to go with the phone, probably say I carry uh, some earphones, okay? Here are my earphones, they're uh, a collaboration between Sennheiser and Adidas, I think, or Adidas, whichever you may prefer. And they're kind of, they're, they're, they're excellent because I've had the Dr. Dre Beats and things like that, and the headphones, and I just keep coming back to these because at the end of the day, they're, what, about £300, and these are, what, £75, something like that. These are Kevlar-coated or reinforced um uh, wiring okay and they're rainproof and the sound is fantastic okay um i might do a review on on my other sennheiser headphones um just to kind of drill that point in but you just really can't go wrong for the price and uh like i say these are excellent for the gym and things because they're kind of rainproof waterproof like everything proof really and I, i've i've had these for nearly two years now and they've never let me down through through any situation and they're just so light and comfortable and don't need batteries so there we go that's some uh, some earphones okay um it is quite cold out outside i will try and uh show you some of the weather 
There we go. Okay, it's snowing. Or oh, it's uh, has snowed. And um, so what I will do is uh, show you some gloves that I kind of wear. So these are the Under Armour. I don't forget what model and things. I think they've got a, new, a newer model out. I got these about a year ago or so. They're really handy liner gloves, but I just use them as normal gloves. I mean, my hands never really have really got cold through just wearing these. They're quite functional because they've got all these little uh, grip pads and uh, this uh, kind of fleecy felt material on the thumb and the index finger, on thumb and the first finger. Okay, so and they're elasticated. They're just very comfortable. My hands have ne never sweated in them, but. Okay, so there we go. There's I try and cover the knives with them. Okay, so so they're the gloves that I I kind of wear. Okay, um, I also probably will carry another pen somewhere on me. So that's that's that. And uh, and now we're in the realms of kind of other other things um, to to carry. Okay, so. Some smaller options, if I'm in uh, a sheeple environment, is this uh, Burka Subcom 42. Uh, bit, it's it's smaller than it looks. Okay, trust me, smaller than it looks. So that's that one. Uh, a Spyderco Squeak, um, and then somewhere I'll probably have a, a Victorinox. It might not be the Huntsman, which I do value greatly, um, but. But there we go, it's a, a pen knife. Now, also somewhere I'll probably have a drinks bottle. This uh, Maxpedition 1 litre Nalgene is uh, exceptionally good. It's quite pricey, yeah, but this this thing is built like a tank and probably last you years and years if you, if you wash it and treat it well. Um, in legal places, obviously, around home and other places, uh, I'll probably carry a, a Spyderco military okay because it's you know you wouldn't be able to carry this in public but there we go okay so I'll probably carry that somewhere um, if I'm taking more things with me in places I'll probably carry a uh, or if I'm going um, somewhere where, where I'll be overnight and things I'll probably carry this <laughs> it might not be in this sheath okay uh, but this is, uh, I think it's Phoenix LD 20 uh, or 22 even wow okay and um, this is an absolutely excellent flashlight or torch if you prefer it I can't stress this enough uh, it runs on two double A batteries shockproof waterproof you name it okay and it's very very bright well <laughs> that's not very very bright but um, yeah if I, I don't want to blind people but there we go it's it's got all the modes um, SOS things like that so that is a extremely good flashlight okay uh, I'll probably carry another set of keys or something. Uh, here's just another example, um, and this one has a little uh, Streamlight Nano, very bright. Okay, um, and again, I think that's uh, rainproof, but I don't think it's submersive. Um, have this uh, Maxpedition uh, only because it's got this uh, right in the rain notepad, which is uh, very handy, useful, especially in in the UK. And probably somewhere, maybe on the keychain, I'll have a, a mini sharpie. Okay, I might fill this up with things, keys, whatever. So that's that. <clears throat> it's kind of kind of already looking like a Max Edition advert. I didn't mean it to, but they just make some goddamn good de uh, gear, don't they? Okay. Uh, right. Another notepad. I'll probably carry a moleskin or moleskine, whichever you prefer. It's very very excellent notepad, uh, excellent paper, just build quality is brilliant, they're quite uh, pricey but um, you get a lot of features, <laughs> features for a notebook, notepad but there we go. Okay so notepad, uh, following on from that I carry a book with me, the book I'm carrying at the moment is Hobbit, just thought I'd read it again, there we go, um, and uh, if I'm not carrying a book, a specific book, I'll, I'll be carrying a Kindle, okay um pretty good but yeah not a huge not a huge substitute for a, a kind of a proper book but it, uh you can carry you know thousands of books with you and uh sometimes sometimes they're cheaper but there we go probably that and finally my shades some people 
Uh, I, I just have never faulted Oakley at all for anything and uh, I'll probably carry a pair of these um, kind of like military style type uh, Oakley M frames I think they're called but the excellent point about these is you can I've done it many times pull their lenses out I'll just do it here I'll show you it's not it's not difficult um, pull the lenses out hey presto and you can put whatever lenses you want in orange clear vented whatever so that's the gives me options that's what it's about with your everyday carry I think failing that if I want to go a bit more um, you know a bit more higher class I'll go for a pair of uh, X frames in particular these uh, Juliet's um, very nice but yeah these are extremely uh, expensive but uh, that's if I wanted to pimp it out a little bit okay and of course it's the UK got to carry a, a brolly this is a brolly I was bought I love this mechanism though you press that whew. Wow, it's uh, like a, like a transformer. But there we go. I'll just carry a brolly, and obviously to carry all the, all of this stuff in. I mean, obviously I'm not going to be carrying all of this every day. This is just like uh, an extra load of things that I might be carrying as options. Obviously, I carry it in a. Wow, that was like uh, Independence Day there. Um, I can't really fit it in, I'm afraid. But yeah, carry a, a Maxpedition um, Sitka. Okay, not the S type. But just just a Sitka. Okay, so the video is, uh, has has uh, gone further than I thought it would be. Thought, thought it would go. Sorry, um, but thanks for staying with me. Thanks for watching. And uh, hey, if you've had any experience with any of these things on the on the on the table, please do comment, rate, and subscribe because you know it's it's not me tube. It's YouTube. Okay, if you've got any suggestions, put them in the comment section. I'm I'm open to anything like that, and uh, I'll do my best to. To bring you the video that you you desire okay all right thanks again and take care